Welcome back to the channel, Jim here. Today I'm going to follow up with the long hose regulator video, a little bit of Q&A and some feedback from, from viewers, actually from Facebook, uh, Scuba Board, and YouTube. I had a lot of really great feedback. Let's get right to it. First, on the idea of running out of air in general, and the one thing that I tell all of my open water graduates is that I, I give them an analogy. I say, well, uh, remember, uh, running out of air is kind of like running out of gas in your car. It's never a surprise. You were, you were watching that gas gauge. Uh, think, think back to when you were 17, 16, 17 years old, and you're driving the family car, and you didn't have the money, or you didn't want to spend the money to fill the car up. So you'd be trying to limp that car back home so that you could use up as much gas as possible and not be refilling it. And you're watching that get down toward empty and you're, you're just trying to stretch it, stretch it, stretch it. It's never a surprise when you run out of gas in that situation and it's never a surprise when you run out of air doing the same thing. You're watching your gauge go down, you're trying to stretch out the tank, you know that you're taking a risk and you're making that choice. It's never a surprise. It should never be a surprise. If you didn't look at the gauge for all that time, I, then perhaps another hobby is better for you. Another topic that came up on all of the platforms was about panic, about an air share panic. And one note that I want to make is I often see panic when somebody, a recipient, accepts a regulator that has an up or down orientation and the regulator's upside down. Uh, try it for yourself. If you breathe, if you haven't, if you never have, or if you haven't done it in a long time, if you breathe a regulator upside down, it's basically going to deliver a lot of water. That depends on the maker, the manufacturer, how much water, but it's going to deliver water and it's not going to be pleasant. If you're already in a stressed or panic situation and you get a regulator upside down and you breathe in a half a mouthful of water, it's not going to be pleasant. A lot of those people just bolt. I've seen it before in training usually open water training. So the, the, one of the advantages then of, of the, the long hose, right? I, I take the regulator uh, right side up and I duck my head and then bam, when I give it, it's also right side up. I don't have a regulator here to prove that, but you can, I'll, sh I'll attach a picture here for that. So one of the pluses of a long hose uh, donation is the regulator is coming to you right side up, which is exactly what you want. Now, other regulators from the side, like those, those yellow ones, uh, like I said, many of them have an orientation, and then it's up to the person in their possible panic to, to grab the right orientation. And other ones, as you know, they have no proper orientation. This way is okay, and this way is okay. Uh, however, those often don't breathe well at max depth. There are lots of folks out there that, that commented that they use the long hose, and yeah, they appreciate it. Uh, Oren, Nick, Nick S, Bob B, yeah, some difficulties. Some people said they brought up a difficulty, uh, like in the UK, having to take off your gear in the water to hand it up to the RIB. Definitely, right? You're gonna have to take that hose off the one wrap, and more often that bungee around your neck. Sometimes I forget that one. That that that's one that'll. Uh... Now, a point that was raised by a lot of folks, and I'm going to emphasize it as well. Bob B, uh, he was on Facebook. He mentioned, and and I'll bring it up again. Uh, any air share situation uh, awareness is your best friend. So uh, spotting that, that air share before it comes to you is ideal. And uh, of course, that, that's possibly not going to always be possible. We can't see what's coming at us from the back, but always keeping track of your buddy or your group. And sometimes an air share comes from outside your group. One of mine did, and there's not much you could do about that. But awareness is your friend, right? Catching that air share before it comes to you happening to the air share instead of it happening to you. Lots of folks commented and said they, they use their backup reg on every dive, no matter what the reg is. And some people, for example, said on the safety stop they'll do it, which is a great idea. One really excellent point was brought up by Ron, who visits the, the YouTube channel, and he was saying about reflecting on his group. Now he, he, He's curious about the long hose setup, and yet his group is all traditional hose. I don't know how big his group is, and he, his thing is, well, you know, everyone has the same configuration. Isn't that better? Isn't that safer? More familiarity. And I would definitely say on a surface, absolutely yes. Um, what I advised him was I was in the same position when I started. And in fact, um, you know, I talked to some folks as we saw long hose for the first time. And the first time we laughed, I laughed. I mean, I was like, gosh, that, that looks so 
different from what I'm used to. This looks ridiculous, and, and I laughed at it. And then as I heard more about why, what the reasons were, I started to say, ah, oh, okay, I can kind of understand that. And then I started to see the sense, and then, then I got curious about it, and finally I tried it. I probably took six months. So what you might find is, you know, talking to your buddies, talking to your dive group. Maybe there's some other people who are also curious about the setup, and then together you, you might decide to give it a try. So then in that sense, you wouldn't be alone, and you would have a like configuration with, with your buddy. However, as, as I said in the last video, it's definitely, no matter what your configuration is, go through a briefing with your buddy in your, uh, you know, your pre-dive buddy check because, you know, who knows what you might encounter. You might, someone might have an AR2, God forbid, right? Um, or some other, some other, I don't know, system or, or some special attachment or how their spare is stowed. Uh, you, you never know what you might come in contact with. So even even if it's you know traditional, you know you might you might have some some differences there that you have to explore anyway. Going along with with proactivity, um, I wanted to also stress that as an Airshare donor, you are in charge. Whoever is donating the resource, you are in charge. That's a tough dynamic for for some folks, especially if they're donating to someone they perceive as more senior, either in scuba or in life, like a son donating to a father or you know someone donating to an instructor, which does happen. I've seen some weird stuff. I have a, a shout out to Kai, a friend of mine, Kai. She told me a story. She was in Fiji and her dive master came up to her on the safety stop and wanted, he or she I had low air and wanted to completely change equipment with my friend in blue water, on 15 feet in blue water on the safety stop, so the, the instructor was, was gonna stay down or something, that's what it was. It was low on air and wanted to stay down for some other divers and wanted to completely switch the gear. For me, that would have been a very polite, no thank you, uh, sorry about that. Oh, some other people said, what happens if someone runs to the, the surface with the, with the long hose? Like they grab your long hose and then they panic to the surface. Uh, that's gonna be a very short trip. <laughs> Uh, that could happen with any hose. Now, uh, you know, I'm, like I said, depending on how I know this person, their state of being, you know, I'm either going to grab onto them or I'm not. Um, if I let go of them, that means they're looking stable, they're looking good, or I know them very well, I know their level. Um, if I, and if I'm holding on to them, it's because there's a problem or I'm not sure of the situation. I want to reassure them or reassure myself. But in any situation, if someone bolts to the surface with that hose, they're only going to get so far and you know I'll, I'll do my best to stop them but you know it is what it is right I mean if someone gets away from you they're more powerful than you they're you know who knows uh, you know you do your best what can I say good observations from Don W he was from uh, scuba accidents and risk management group and a great a great group and he was saying that uh, yeah in his experience people very rarely signal and they're usually just come at you for the for the air share yeah, and in his case, they ripped it right out of his mouth once, at least once. And if they can't do that, they're going to bolt to the surface immediately. And in his case, he, he liked having a shorter hose. You know, he thought that was better for control purposes, and I totally understand that. And last, there were some really nice situations in there where people had mentioned where uh, having the lawn hose um, in, in an air share, one of their few air shares, really, really benefited in a thick kilt thick uh, kelp forest was one places where you especially places where you couldn't surface immediately and you had to go and navigate somewhere it's very very nice to have the long hose I have a lot of comments like that another point this was also also Bob B uh, raised about um, that there's the the regulator that you're gonna donate the fastest is the one that's in your mouth having to go find something or you know or if even if it's stowed properly there it's it's something you're gonna have to reach for and Bobby also brought up, so some people said, wow, with a, with a regulator wrapped around your neck, if someone grabs that, isn't a very bad situation to be in. And it kind of is for a moment, but actually, if someone grabbed that regulator, if I ducked my head, right, the hose would, would just kind of slip out. If I was just fighting it, that would be a bad situation. It would probably be a bad situation no matter what. Even if it was traditional, if someone grabbed that traditional out of my mouth and was, was pulling it toward me, I, I'd be in a bad situation as well. So I'm not sure that was six one half dozen the other 
thank you very much for the comments and the feedback. I appreciate that. I think that's going to be very valuable for, for divers who are considering a learning. Once again, you know, raise the conversation with people around you if you're thinking about going to a different configuration, no matter what it is. There might be other people who are interested and you can get there sooner than you think. Alrighty, thanks for watching the channel. I appreciate it and see you on the beach.